by the vice president and his wife, Jill Biden. This is about five minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States, the Vice President of the United States, Mrs. Michelle Obama and Dr. Jill Biden. Well, good evening, everybody. Welcome to the White House. Thank you all for joining us tonight uh, to celebrate Hanukkah, even if we're doing it a little bit early. Uh, I want to start by recognizing a few folks who are here. Uh, the ambassador to the United States from Israel, Michael Oren, is in the house. We are honored to be joined by one of the justices of the Supreme Court, Ruth, uh, Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg is here. We are thrilled to see her. She's one of my favorites, I gotta yeah. so I, I, I've got a soft spot for, for Justice Ginsburg. Uh, and we've got uh, more than a few members of Congress here and members of my administration in the House, including uh, our new uh, Director of Jewish Outreach, uh, Jared uh, Bernstein is here. Where's Jared? Hey, Jared. Uh, I also want to thank the West Point Jewish Chapel Cadet Choir. They, uh, the voice of tradition for their wonderful performance, but more importantly, for uh, their extraordinary service to our country. And I want to thank all the rabbis and lay leaders uh, who have come far and wide uh, to be here with us today. Uh, now, uh, as I said, we're, we're jumping uh, the gun just a little bit. Uh, the way I see it, we're just extending the holiday spirit. We're stretching it out. Uh, but we do have to be careful that your kids don't start thinking uh, Hanukkah lasts 20 nights instead of eight. <laughs> that, that, will, that will cause some problems. Uh, this Hanukkah season, uh, we remember a story so powerful that uh, we all know it by heart, uh, even us Gentiles. Uh, it's a story of right over might, uh, of faith over doubt, of a band of believers who rose up and freed their people and discovered that the oil left in their desecrated temple, uh, which should have lasted only one night, ended up lasting eight. Uh, it's a timeless story, and for 2,000 years, it has given hope to Jews everywhere who are struggling. Uh, and today it reminds us that miracles come in all shapes and sizes, because to most people, the miracle of Hanukkah would have looked like nothing more than a simple flame, but the believers in the temple knew it was something else. They knew it was something special. Uh, this year, uh, we have to recognize the miracles in our own lives. Uh, let's honor the sacrifices our ancestors made so that we might be here today. Uh, let's think about uh, those who are spending this holiday far away from home, including members of our military who guard our freedom around the world. Uh, let's extend a hand to those who are in need uh, and allow the value of uh, Tikkun Olam to guide our work this holiday season. Uh, this is also a time to be grateful for our friendships, uh, both with each other uh, and between our nations. And that includes, of course, our unshakable support and commitment to the security of the nation of Israel. So, so while it is not yet Hanukkah, let's give thanks for our blessings, for being together to celebrate this uh, wonderful holiday season. Uh, and, you know, we never need an excuse for a good party. <laughs> so we are going to see all of you uh, in a second uh, downstairs, uh, no, but – or wherever we are. We are we don't I think we're downstairs. We are downstairs in the map room. Okay. Uh, so uh, as I look around, I see a whole bunch of good friends. 
Uh, we can't uh, wait to give you a hug and a kiss and uh, wish you a happy holiday. The guys with whiskers, I won't give you a kiss. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, everybody. Which part of the U.S. Constitution is